you think about uh, the possibility of a thousand people, thousands of people getting sick, some dying, um, it's really not worth it. Park County business owners are saying it's better to be safe than sorry. Good evening to you and thank you for staying up with us tonight. Tonight, folks are still reacting. That's after Park County commissioners canceled the Covered Bridge Festival due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, now vendors and others in Park County are figuring out what to do next. News 10 Sarah Lehman went down to Bridgeton today. She has more on how they're feeling from the news. Dozens of covered bridges just like this one are sprinkled all throughout Park County. And for many, it's a tradition every year to come visit during the Covered Bridge Festival. But this year, that tradition is going to look different. The sides of the road are empty in Park County. In a few months, they would normally be filled with vendors of all sorts and people from all over. This year, that's not going to happen. This is going to be a, a big blow, a big setback to us, maybe two years or three years setback. That's because the Park County Covered Bridge Festival has been canceled. Mike Rowe has been a part of the festival for years. He says he's sad this year, but knows it's for the best. I hate it, but it's, it's going to hurt a lot of our friends and a lot of people in Park County. But, you know, the, the alternative is, is worse. But people know these historical areas won't just be sitting empty. The people that have attended the festival for years, it's a tradition with them. And even though the festival may not be going on like normal, I think that they will still want to come to Park County. Now, even though it is going to look different this year, many of the same places will be open. They just won't be in a booth. And you can, of course, always visit the historic covered bridges. For now, reporting in Bridgeton, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10.